Hey, I'm Steve Speck with Exo Mountain Gear. In this video, we're gonna walk you through our K4 7200 bag. The 7200 bag is really geared for those expedition style hunts. You're heading up to Alaska. You're gonna be dealing with a lot of weather. It's a 10 to 14 day hunt. Uh, it's just a, a really large bag. The, you know, we really focus on making sure that all of our bags though compress up and, are, and can go from day hunting all the way up to 14 days out there in the back country. We have another video uh, that will show how to compress up the 7200 and you'll be shocked just how small and tight this thing can get to the frame. You would never guess that it can get as big as it does. Again, that's a lot of things we do focusing on the design. Uh, we really like to keep these things streamlined and efficient. Our whole design philosophy with the bags is basically all the items that I don't need to access during the day while I'm hunting. So I've, I woke up in the morning, I packed up camps, tent, sleeping bag, extra clothes, extra food. Um, all the items, again, that I'm just not using during the day are going inside the main bag. And then we're wrapped with pockets around the outside of the pack so that I'm efficient while I'm out there hunting. I've got quick access to all the items that I need to. Spotting scope, tripod, uh, puffy jacket, headlamp, snacks, water filters, all that is something that's in a pocket that's on the outside of the pack. And I'm never in that situation where I got a yard sale, my pack just to get to a single item. And when I'm loading up my pack in the morning, I'm very conscientious of that, right? That, uh, okay, I'm gonna need this while I'm hunting, so it's in this pocket on the outside. I'm not gonna need this at all, I'm putting that inside the main bag. The next part of the video, I'm gonna walk you through the specific features and layout of the 7200 bag. Starting with the side pocket of the pack, and these are the same on both sides. You've got this lower pocket down here, and there's actually two pockets here. One is you've got this access here. This is gonna be tripod legs, trekking poles, uh, anything you wanna just put down in there. It could be an extra water bottle. And then you've got another pocket on the face here, and this is cut at an angle. So the whole idea is think of this as a second hip belt pouch. I can reach back into this pocket anytime and grab something that I want access to while I'm hunting. Uh, could be you know snacks, gloves, beanie, water filter, anything I want. Think of it as a second hip belt pouch. The pocket is nice and deep and it's a stretch fabric. Once I put items in there, you really don't have to worry about them falling out. Moving up, you've got your two compression straps that go from the frame back to the bag. This lower one can pass through this pocket or run over the top of it. So if I'm in a scenario where I, I drop something in here and I really don't want it to fall out, I can then take the strap, run it over the pocket and kind of close that off to keep anything from falling out of it. Moving up, you've got the second compression strap that goes from the frame back to the bag. You'll notice our compression straps are cut at angles. We really, really care about load distribution in the pack. How you load the pack really affects how it's gonna ride on your back all day long. They're cut at angles so that we're sucking the load up and into the frame and preventing sagging. The next part of this is the spine scope pocket. These are seven and a half inches deep by 27 inches tall. You've got this nice long zipper to access it. Really large pleat here, so we, when the bag is completely full, we still have good access to get spine scope in and out of there. On the top of this pocket on the inside, you'll notice a stash pocket loop. So you can add our stash pocket accessory there. You can also use that loop to hang items on the inside. So if you had a water bladder there that you wanted to hang, you could. Moving to the front of the pack, you'll see we've got two horizontal compression straps. This is just strapping items to the back side of the pack. Most common one I'm gonna see strapped there is a bow. If you pop those off, you'll see our zippered access to the front stretch pocket. Again, with our design philosophy, I've got quick access to items I need to uh, use while I'm hunting. So you can put a lightweight puffy jacket you can stuff in there, a sitting pad, any items like that that I just want access to. Moving across to the other side of this is gonna be your main access to the bag. And it's a really long vertical zipper. It's gonna open up and give me great access inside the bag as I'm loading my items in there. And if there is a scenario where I've put something inside the bag and I need to get to, you can really open it up and find that item without having to yard sale everything out of it. You can also see that white fabric on the back side of the bag. That is our water bladder sleeve. It runs the full width and length of the pack. So if I have a water bladder in the sleeve up on top, if that pops, the water's gonna run out the bottom through a grommet hole and all the items that are in the bag, I don't have to worry about getting wet. You'll also see on the inside here, there's a stash pocket loop there and another stash pocket loop right there. Again, you can add our stash pocket accessories for the guys who, who like to have a lot of small pockets for organization, you've got that option. 
<laughs> moving to the top of the bag, you can see our roll top collar, and that's where the 7200 is just a really big bag. That extends all the way up. Uh, and that's your secondary access to get items in and out of the pack, either through the zipper or through the top. You also see this Velcro loops right here. That's for our dry bag insert, which gives you 100% waterproof protection. If you were to fall in a river or just days and days and days of rain, you put that dry bag inside there. It's the full width and size of the bag. So all the items that go inside that dry bag are gonna stay dry. If you wanna drop eight ounces and run the pack without a lid, it's really easy to do. You just take the roll top collar, roll it up, and just buckle into the lid straps on both sides. Moving back down the front of the bag, you've got our two compression straps down here at the bottom, and these are what connect the bag to the frame. They, uh, we've got a system here with a tri-glide and a ladder lock, and we're using those to compress the bag to the frame when I'm not running full 7200. Um, especially if you're, you know, if you're buying this because you do a long trip, but you're also doing shorter hunts with it, you're really going to use that feature a lot. We really encourage you to make sure if the bag's not going to be completely full, that we're compressing the bag back to the frame as much as we possibly can. Moving to this side again, you're going to see the exact same pocket layout as we covered on the other side. Here you can see this loop that's sewn to the bag. There's one on both sides. That is for the 7200 specifically. There's a set of straps that came with your bag that uh, when you have this roll top all the way up and this thing's really extended tall, the top of the pack can kind of become a, a little bit floppy. And this, these straps are designed to compress that down. So if you're going on a hunt where you know you're using the full capacity of the bag, we definitely want you to pack those straps with you. You hook them in here, they're gonna run over the top of the bag and actually connect to this loop here at the top of the frame. And again, that strap's gonna run all the way up and over so you can press it down nice and tight at the top and just really stabilize that load. Uh, moving to the front side of it, right here you can see the water bladder sleeve. That's gonna open up. Inside that, you've got another stash pocket loop. And then there's a Velcro attachment point to hang your water bladder. And then a hole right here where you can run the water bladder tube through and then run that right or left side of the harness so you have access to your drinking tube. The lid, you're gonna have, let's put it right here. You've got one large main compartment inside there for throwing items into. And then you've got a, another stash pocket loop on the inside of the lid right there. Again, for the guys who like to have a lot of organization. And then on top of the lid, you'll see this pocket here. You know, it's just a, a whole, another pocket for quick access to items that I want. So it could be a cell phone, could be an inReach, could be a headlamp, whatever I want to put in there is just, again, it's a, a great place to put something that I want quick access to. So on the frame side here, you can see the lid straps and how they work with this system. You unthread that and that shows you really good access of how you're going to take the bag off the frame. There's just this Velcro tab. You can grab onto this piece of webbing and then basically pull the bag right off the top of the frame. The frame just sits up in this little pocket right here, and that's how it sits at the top of the frame. And then right here, you'll see a loop that's sewn to the bag, and there's another loop here on the frame. If you're running the bag without a lid, there's a set of straps you can buy that will connect basically the top of the bag to the top of the frame and just give you a good way to compress a head and antlers down to the top of the frame. The lid webbing, just go through how that's weaved through here. You're going to, it's cut at a 45 degree angle, so it's really easy to slide up and down. You're gonna go through the closest loop first, so you're basically touching the, the, the bag lip there. That's gonna thread up, and I've got this extended right now, but if I didn't, you would thread it through the ladder lock on the lid, and then you can tuck that excess webbing back down through this slot right here, and that way that's not interfering with you grabbing for the load lifters. That pretty much covers all the features of the 7200 bag. For more information, you can check us out at exomountaingear.com.